Hey YouTube, this is Justin at Snap-on Junkie. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, my Snap-on Guy's truck tour, uh, some stuff in his sh uh, in his garage, and uh, his kind of a little mini of his toolbox tour. Uh, and also at the end, I'm going to review uh, these speed handle uh, or speed wrenches, I guess is what you call it. And I'm just going to show you what I'm what I picked up. So you know all right guys the snap-on junkie on on the porn wagon here Let's see what kind of shit we got today yeah jason what i want is uh what is this thing this is a vintage microwave raffle what All right, so you guys could win this. Is this a, is this just in what regions this in? It's just my truck, my customers. Oh, okay. It's just for his customers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but you could win a. Somebody's gonna win a vintage Snap-on microwave holder. So that's always fun. Let's see what else she got. Oh. Get files. Oh, you getting all my stuff? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Orange hammers. Orange hammers. Look at all these screwdrivers you've got. Jesus. Here's my section. The green section down here. I got these. Oh, he's got the PZ pliers. Oh. What the hell is that? Master spindle rethreading kit. What the hell is that for? Axle threads. Axle threads? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, man, you still got these? You still got these things. Damn it. Why can't I be making 20 grand a week that would be mine <sighs> oh sorry jason what are you looking for heather stuff striking pry bars oh, man you got a lot more stuff on here jason did you just re-up or like get stuff for 2017 uh i got some stuff coming in for 2017 and some of it's just stuff that just went in the garage what is this thing? That's a great little tool. Uh, I have bore scopes. Yeah. This is a good way to protect your bore scope. You can feed this down into the hole first and then put your bore scope down. Uh, helps protect you from pulling out the bore scope and pulling the lens off. Oh. Uh, you know, breaking that lens on a bore scope could cost you $300. This costs you $70. I think it's a good investment to have. Yeah, that's a good investment right there. Just see if you guys got the bore scope, get this thing. It's also great for if you're doing uh, wires through uh, firewall, stuff like yeah, that. It could, pierces it, and there's a hole in the in the, in the, in the, in the, the handle in there. The, in the handle. Yep. Oh, okay. So for guys that build your own wire harnesses and stuff like that, it's a great tool. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Diesel compression gauge. Now that's expensive. Here's these things. All right, this is what I got. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't. I still got that at my shop. You should have told me. Oh man, this came back from warranty. Thank God. I was I needed that thing the other day, and I was like, "Damn it!" Oh, is this the metric set? Impact driver set. Impact driver set. It's kind of a uh, master set, so it has a few torques, a few screwdrivers, and Allen's metric and standard, a couple sockets. 
It's kind of a grab and go. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do you got those little screwdrivers? You know the little pocket screwdrivers? Uh, I keep them on the truck, uh, up on the ceiling right there, the orange ones. No, like, yeah, remember the free giveaway ones that they used to have? Oh, I keep them in here. Can I get one of those? Oh, yeah. Oh, they got valve stem removers on them this time. Yeah, the magnets. Some guys like the magnet ones, but sometimes they'll fall or they'll catch on something. On yeah. Shirt, so. Oh, and it has your name on it and everything. I tried the valve stem ones this time. Oh, that's cool as shit. Let me get some of those that say the snap on junkie on them, guys. What do you think? Give those some bitches away. All right. Well, I got to order some stuff, guys, but I just wanted to show you around Jason's truck. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff on here. So, you can get a Varus Edge if you have an extra 10 grand laying around. <laughs> You know, <laughs> right, Jason? Yeah. The baddest air hammer in the world. He's got three of them, all three colors. Jason, I really like it that you're starting to get color stuff, dude. You know, like, yeah, look at that. Options. Yeah, like all three colors of air hammers, dude. That's sweet. Cut off wheels, die grinders, air ratchets. All right. Look at this freaking thing. You put this long travel suspension on it. Dude, you did a good job on this, Jason. Getting there. Look at this bastard. Working on the rear end now. I got shit everywhere. I broke one of my retainer rings and it pissed me off so I quit the other day. Oh. I gotta do that and I gotta find a way to turn this down too because the uh... Oh. This, this is the wrong size. Apparently, I need to update this, and they didn't update it for me. But I have to take four hundredths of a tenth, tenths off of each side of this to get it to fit in the mounting bracket. 90 degree die grinder. Huh? 90 degree die grinder till it fits. You know, because unless you want to take it to a machine shop and right. have them mill off fucking... I wish I had a mill or I'd just tell you, you know, right. come and do it. Look at this big bastard. <laughs> yeah dude you know my guy is not the junkie on organization but I am <laughs> look at this thing so this is an 84 inch epic guys like uh this is what this is what happens when you're a boss you get stuff like this Oh, I'll be like, this is like a toolbox tour and a truck tour, guys. Nobody else has done this. Look at this. <laughs> and then this is, uh, yeah, that's a different way to do it. This is a different way you could put all your sockets and stuff. His is a little different. This is the only way I've never seen one like this before. And then Joel in the future, bud, this is what you can get the power drawer in the side locker which is pretty sweet, you know, like uh, in your Epic side locker. You can get a power drawer option in that. But this is, what color is this? This is midnight blue with titanium trim. Okay, it's midnight blue with titanium trim, 84 inch Epic. I don't know the part number or whatever, you know, it's not a, but alrighty. Alright guys, I just ordered these new dual pole things. Uh, let me get you a part number on this. Because I know that Snap-on took it off the website. But you might be able to find it on, uh, you know, by looking it up. I couldn't find it, but I didn't know the part number to look it up. So there's the part number. I have a perfect... Yeah, like here guys, here's these speed wrenches that you've asked about. Uh... He doesn't have an extra set, but I'd like to review these. But here's what they look like. Uh, I don't know what they would be good for. Like, Jason, do you have any suggestions what these would be good for? They only work very well on perfectly good bolts and nuts. Okay. Okay. 
uh, that's one stipulation you got. But here's my way of thinking on these, and these is what this is why I have them. Okay, why do you have these? I have them because look how many wrenches I have in my drawer that are open ended. A lot. If I needed another open ended wrench, I don't. Oh, yeah, you don't. So why not have the other option? Okay, so again, he's a junkie too, and we'll, we may have to get a set of these to try these out just to show you guys. But there's they're very the limited. They only make them with this ratcheting. They don't have them in standards yet. You know, I think it was kind of a design that they brought out. Okay, so they're not in. They're but only in metric. This is all they came out with is the metric ones, and they're 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 hard to pick up. They really are. All right. Yeah. That. I just did it because I wanted to try it, just like we all try things. Yeah, this, the, these and, are a waste uh, of money. Don't buy these. <laughs> and it's more one of those things. Don't buy them. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, don't buy them. All right. Thanks, Jason. Cool. Have a good night. All right. Uh, and today I'm going to review uh, these Snap-on Speed Wrenches and what they are and uh, how they really work. And the only thing that I really think that you should buy these for, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So uh, these are the snap-on speed handle, or speed open-ended wrenches. And uh, I've had a lot of questions about these, so I borrowed one from my snap-on guy that you see early in this video, uh, if you watch the whole thing. Now, what these things are is it's kinda got this funky uh, open end thing and it's kind of made to be a ratchet style on your wrenches so if you had to get in a tight spot um, you could ratchet you can ratchet uh, like a regular wrench you have to take off like this you know you have to keep moving um, this style you can just ratchet one click at a time or you can go a bunch if you had the room okay now you can't get it to tighten this way so you have to flip the wrench around and it only works in one direction uh, if you will understand what I'm saying and I was surprised how much torque you could really put on this little hook here if you could see that okay now what I recommend these wrenches uh, again I don't think this is a necessary buy um, this is going to be for something very specific what what one main reason that I do not like these wrenches is I don't understand this system that it only works in one way but also you can only get it with this ratcheting uh, mechanism on the other side now the problem that I have with these is is that the wrench it's a snap-on wrench but it it's not well balanced like if they had the other head up here and this head is pretty bulky okay now in that point I will say this these would be really good um, if you did a lot of hydraulic hose work okay because uh, the hydraulic hoses are going to be in a tight spot to ratchet. Maybe that would help you. Uh, you know, but again, these are kind of so long to get a 19 millimeter, and they only make these in millimeters. They do not make them in uh, SAE, which would be most standard hydraulic fitting hoses. So they really wouldn't work f for that. But that's about the only reason. Um, that I found where these would be useful, you know, and you can see, I mean, it takes pretty good torque here on it. So guys, is this a must have necessary buy? No, this would be a luxury item um, out there once you have every other open ended wrench that you could ever imagine. Um, what I would probably do with these is buy the set okay I would cut this big stupid ratcheting part off and I would weld the 18 millimeter open end on the other side and I would do that through the whole set 
just because this ratcheting thing does absolutely nothing and uh, you know I don't know why you would need it on there they should have made these with this side on both sides you know like 19 18 17 16 15 14 you know that type of system that would have made these wrenches I think a lot better because you can only use it in one direction if you get what I'm saying like so basically it's just you don't have to take it off there I hope that uh, helps you guys understand what these are for uh, and my theory is is that they work on you know they would work on spline things 12 point all that different stuff they would work on all that but it's just it, these would be considered a luxury item so that's my review of this like always guys like comment subscribe um, remember the snap-on junkie store to buy your stickers and sweatshirts fellas and uh, remember give me thumbs up thumbs down and I appreciate you watching to the end of this video uh, thumbs up as always guys thank you for watching today